Update to a story that many of you have been calling our newsroom about in recent days. A father's remains are now at home with his daughter, and that is thanks to 11 News viewers. Two weeks ago, we told you about Dennis Larney. His family could not afford to get his body cremated even months after his death. And despite the state having funds to help families like theirs, the Otero County coroner says he couldn't use them. 11 News reporter Aaron Vitito is in studio with more. And Aaron, this family raised more than what they were asking for. Lindsay, Dennis Larney's daughter is actually picked up his ashes just last Monday. They sent me a picture. It only took one night to raise enough money for the cremation through GoFundMe, but the support did not stop there. We've had one donor pay in full at, to the funeral home. After Mary Nystrom's story aired on 11 News, Sean Renville, the owner of Advanced Remediation Services, reached out to pay in full for her father's cremation. Taking care of that financial burden means more to me than words can express. This was after 11 News viewers already raised the money in one night. It was very surreal. I just couldn't believe it. And she tells me she plans to put the money to good use. We want to buy a bench for the outside of the manor he lived in and hopefully get it and engraved some way. Her father is finally home after months of waiting. Now, her eyes are on the Capitol. I have hope for future families that there will be some laws being made or changed. After speaking to Representative Matt Soper, he says he wants to use this story as a basis for possible future legislation. He says he's doing research for a bill that will, quote, be a follow-up to burials, prepaid plans, and unlawful burial penalties. In the meantime, Nystrom says she's glad to share her father's story and happy he inspired change even after his death. It makes me proud to be his daughter. Representative Soper tells me he's doing research right now on what this bill will look like and how it could help families like this. We will, of course, stay on top of that. Guys, back to you. All right, Aaron, thanks for the update.